hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i truly appreciate them all let's tap in please keep in mind that this is a general reading so the messages may or may not resonate with you you take the messages that resonate with you your personal situations and the the rest okay so somebody's leaving that's what i'm hearing Somebody's telling someone I'm leaving. Okay, maybe you guys are breaking up with someone or someone is breaking up with someone or somebody's leaving a job. <sighs> Somebody could be walking away from someone. Somebody might be shocked or surprised by this. Okay. That their plans backfired or they're getting a return to sender or something like that. That somebody's actually going within about something. What's the overall energy? Yeah, somebody leaving <laughs> the chariot. Yeah, this is a part of their bad karma though for trying to make somebody cause a delay for somebody. So this is like a part of somebody's bad karma for somebody to be chariot to travel, move forward. All right. Wow. Yeah, somebody know that this is a part of their bad karma. They are depressed. Yeah, for what they did around the new moon. That, yeah, their plans backfired when it came to a reconciliation and past life soulmate. Somebody needs you or you, yeah. I'm hearing she needs me or someone needs me. He and his thoughts. Okay. You got a main male in their thoughts. Wow. Somebody's saying some very nasty. This person got a really nasty mouth uh, to whoever he's talking to. Very nasty. Okay. Chariot. What's the chariot? <clears throat> okay, this could be a couple here and a child. What's the chariot? Somebody could be traveling with their children. Moving forward. Maybe things are changing for a married couple and a child. What's the chariot? Okay. Great fortune and a child. Okay. Maybe a child will be 18 and 20 in two years. Traveling plans, two years. I don't know. I don't know. That's so why I'm getting this. The child could be 18 or they'll be 18 in 2016. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Main mail and journey traveling. Hmm. So somebody could be traveling with a child or something like that. There's some sort of fulfillment here. Living in living in a purpose. Good luck. Energy. For uh, the main male to go on a trip or go towards an older gentleman. Traveling and departure. Could be a father figure. That was a thief. Somebody's in their thoughts about something that was held, kept private. In a family room about an older woman doing their work to keep them binded and stuck. That's why they got get. So somebody is putting two and two together. Okay, so. I, yeah, so, okay, this makes sense because somebody is arguing with somebody. And he told her, whoever the female is, you going to die before her. I promise you that. And I'm like, what movie was that? I don't know what movie I had. I didn't see that on the movie. But that was random that I heard that. So here we are again. We got the main male that's going on a journey with an older gentleman. Okay. Or going on a journey with a father figure. Because somebody is a thief or a father figure abandoned them. Or the only reason why this main male went on this journey is because their father figure abandoned them. And it's they're thinking about this now. They're thinking about something in private, doing something quietly, intimate, comfort, living room. 
or that okay so they're thinking about something thoughts about something that was secret privacy an older woman could have been I, and I heard working on a rich lady that's what I heard so I'm gonna just go with that Working on a rich lady being restricted. And they got sad news of a setback or somebody's sad about something. Now that somebody is aware, they're moving. So expect a they they was expecting a couple to get unexpected income. But after this message that somebody was being a false person, the main female. Of in their family just wanted to win money off of them this is like yo like somebody finding out somebody just was trying to keep somebody run the clock out until um what something about money and it was a mother figure or an older woman working with somebody working on somebody and somebody else was working on them because they was they stood the chance to be a rich male what the fuck is this yeah, somebody might want a divorce. Seriously. Yep. Legal matters and divorce. So I feel like somebody could be getting a divorce or soon or something like that. Traveling plans. Great fortune for a child. But moving forward, there's going to be great fortune for a child. Or great fortune in a new beginning. Or moving forward, somebody's going to have great fortune with their children or something like that. Or is this going to be something very abundant? I don't know why I heard somebody was moving or maybe they're arguing about a mother figure or something like that. So somebody could be moving. <laughs> okay. Huh. So something about someone's responsibilities. Graveyard. Is somebody's responsibility to is somebody um what's those nurses that uh come to your bedside when you're really sick and ill on your way out? Or is somebody one of those nurses? Is their responsibility to make sure that somebody has unnecessary fear of death? Something like that. Graveyard. High Priestess. So if there's something going on, it's unnecessary fear. You, you're okay. Invisibility. Graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, you're protected. Did somebody do graveyard magic? Is somebody trying to take you out? Did somebody try to take you out? Hold up. I hate to close the windows, y'all. Did somebody try to take somebody out? Protection and authentic energy. Community web weaver is weaving a web around you. You may have been seeing spiders or something like that. If you've seen a spider in passing today, they might have something to do with it. Just to let you know you are protected. Community web weaver protection. Ancestral protection. Somebody try to take a chosen one out. I don't know. Uh, wow. I know it's a verse and it's crazy. Um... Something when David had asked someone, I think he asked the, I forgot his, I can't pronounce the guy's name. They asked him, who told you that Saul and his son was dead? And he said, well, I, I seen he fell on his sword 
And so, and he told me to come over there and I, he told me, you know, he knew that he was, he was about to die. So I, I, I took his life. Right. I don't know why that is coming to me right now. And then they killed him because he, David said, well, who, who gave you the authority to take out a chosen one? One of God's anointed. Somebody about to be in a hoop, hella hot shit for trying to take out one of God's anointed. Because you're protected, divine beings. So maybe that's why somebody like, I'm getting my kid, I'm getting the fuck out of here because they know that's an instant curse on their lineage. So if somebody got a child with somebody that tried to take you out collective, they taking a kid and they getting on a fucking road. They going on a run or something or they taking a child out of the home because they don't want no plague to befall their child. They're innocent. They don't know nothing no better. Somebody else... Somebody could have been about to leave somebody and they tried to do graveyard magic on y'all to take y'all out or something. Oh, we. And somebody could have been in the mindset of staying in a connection because their father left them. So they're like, fuck it, I'm going to take the child myself. Something like that. I don't know who this message resonating for, but this is crazy. So somebody's instincts is kicking in. There's some sort of instinct, right? Some sort of instinct that has triggered someone and they can't stop thinking about something. They feel like they got to do something. But you're protected by your ancestors. They done, they done weaved a web around you, divine being, to heal you inside and out. Whatever ailments, if somebody going through something... They got you. Somebody tried to do, or if they didn't, if you didn't, it, it will never. You're not going nowhere because God made it so already. God made it so already. And it's funny because the song I heard was late in the midnight hour. God going to turn it around. It's all going to work in your favor. And I was just singing it <laughs> throughout my house. After I heard that, that was like an hour later. I was staying, just walking around, just doing my thing. And I just started, I heard that song. That's my song. So <laughs> I heard the song playing in my head. So of course I'm going to sing it. Yeah, be a fence right now. God is putting a fence all around you divine beings somebody really tried to take your life they about to lose theirs for trying to take yours god has put a fence around you with that spider web energy and cleansing <laughs> i couldn't even shuffle the cards more before they came out ancestors dna you got your ancestors dna the love of the and the legacy of our DNA ancestors. So your ancestors about to show up for you in a way you just never, you couldn't even imagine. Mm -mm -mm. My Lord, my Lord. Somebody done fucked up. Even if something was developing in your body, in your mind, your soul, the divine being, they fucked up. They messed up bad. Y'all, and your masculine here, doing the light after the... Wow, there's a masculine energy here. It says the light after the darkness. They're starting to see the light after they couldn't see something. They seeing where their responsibilities are or what they need to be responsible for. I don't know who masculine this is. But y'all going to know if this is your reading. Something is changing here. Wow. Incubation. And spider. Wow, y'all. Something is about to be birthed here.
Community Web Weaver Incubation. Your ancestors is the Community Web Weaver. And there's something about to be born. Maybe there's a child that want to be born out of something here. Wow. Maybe somebody's about to have a child. Congratulations. Your child is protected. Cleansing. Yeah, so... What's the message? Incubation. Something's been with an incubation. I'm getting. I'm like, what do you do when you incubate something? You you close it off to anything outside of it or something. Heart home homecoming. Either somebody coming home to you. Heart home. Homecoming. Incubation. I told you something about to change. Mummy. Something that's been like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if somebody knows some powers or something outside of y'all. But somebody about to do something, man. They got the same DNA as you. They are community web weaver. And we got incubation. Something is growing for the better. Something has been contained is what I'm getting. We got heart home. Somebody could be having heart problems. Whatever problems you are having in your heart. God is healing it right now. Confirm that. Okay. For some of y'all. Somebody could be having heartburn real bad. You know, if you're a woman and you don't, you, you having heartburn and you don't know what, you don't know the signs of a early stages of a heart attack, that could be a sign. So pay attention to y'all bodies. Okay. I don't know how this, I'm not a doctor, by the way. I'm just giving you the spiritual health news. <laughs> right. Somebody's having a change of heart. Now that they're illuminated to something about the future. Illumination. Yeah, illumination about graveyard. What somebody did. I'm telling you, somebody found out somebody did a graveyard spell. They did not know they did this. Somebody did not know somebody did this. But this was the biggest risk because somebody is leaving. It's like you went too fucking far. Somebody like, yo, I understand Whatever the situation was, say somebody, um, I'm going to just use like a divine masculine energy was in a connection with somebody and they tried to take out their divine feminine. I skated at reading my, uh, like months ago, like there was somebody trying to work on a divine feminine. And if your divine masculine found out, that's why. This was a big ass risk, but somebody exploring a wild side to cleanse some energy from away from you like this. I don't know what this person transforming into right now because they want to cleanse some energy away from you. Somebody's like had some sort of heart awakening. Yeah, somebody had to change your heart now that they are illuminated about this graveyard shit somebody did to y'all. Hmm. I don't know if you're talking to your divine masculine. I mean, clearly, if they know, but sometimes energetically, maybe somebody picks something up here. Just know that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, darling. God going to turn it around for you. I promise you. It's not the right time. Challenges to work on inner healing. Health issue could arise. Things is getting serious now for this earth sign that lied to them. This is so crazy. What the fuck? And these cards aren't even... <sighs> Somebody about to travel soon. I don't. I, I just picked this deck up. But look, I'm going to just get this message because this seems like this go with this. So it was not the right time. No, it's not the right time. Challenges. Because something is going to be very challenging. 
somebody is making a decision to work on healing or inner healing. Somebody try to call somebody challenges to work on inner healing. So a health issue could arise. Now things is getting serious for this earth sign. That was a liar. Somebody was being sneaky. Vacation. Listen to your intuition. Hmm. What y'all got going on? This got something to do with a gold digger. It's like somebody breaking up with somebody and they like, oh, I'm going to take you to child support. They're like, bitch, my daughter be, or my son be 18 and 20, do, do your best. Okay. <laughs> do it 20, uh, 26. Do your motherfucking best kind of energy. <laughs> like, oh my God, y'all. That is crazy. Yeah. Somebody like, I'm out. Someone is unavailable. It's a waste of time. Somebody moving on. What is going on? <laughs> All right, y'all. What the fuck I tap into? I just gave like four different scenarios in less than 20 minutes. <laughs> like, so one of these stories is y'all's, okay? Shit. How y'all doing today? You're going to have to just fit it to however is playing out in y'all life. All right. What's the message, Holy Spirit? The message is air sign. Someone was full of themselves. Someone was in the middle trying to sabotage this. Some an air sign. We got air sign narcissist. Someone trying to sabotage this. A fire sign gold digger. So an air sign know that this narcissist, a narcissist is trying to sabotage something for them. Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Or, else, or sabotage you. Maybe somebody want to move move on with you or come towards you. We got moving, changing residence. Oh, wow. So some gamble somebody took around Mercury retrograde. Yeah, this was a bad gamble. Somebody is moving and changing residence because somebody in the middle trying to sabotage somebody because they're being a narcissist. Somebody that's a narcissist that's too full of themselves. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Jesus. Somebody could be going on an adventure to clear their mind or to calm the chaos. Like somebody might really be traveling. Like say somebody went to went somewhere for like um like you know how they travel to go get work done and stuff like that. Somebody probably about to go back there or something like that. Yeah, they're making a schedule to calm the chaos. Organized management and planning. Poor planning. Poor organizing. Somebody is homeless or feeling casted away. They failed something here. Something that someone's schedule is failing. And they're getting victory and success. Or that's why you're going to be able to get victory and success about something. Who's gamble? Memories. So problems with addictions or gambling or bad finances. Gambling. Memory. Conf this is confirmation here. Okay. For a reader or this is confirmation here about something that's faded. They're remembering something that they did. When someone was having money problems, they remembered they promised something to someone. Confirmation or assured someone of something. They promised someone that they would bribe someone or tempt somebody to do something. Somebody promised. They remembering a promise. Somebody's remembering a promise. What's the promise? That someone would suffer. If they bullied someone, they would be homeless. If someone lost somebody, or if somebody caused damage to someone, they would suffer. Because something was unfair. Robbery, damage, and unfair. Somebody is so pissed off right now that they even arranged to do something and was okay with doing this to you. Somebody could have remembered they promised that. 
they would suffer here darkness and persecution. That's crazy because I just mentioned that 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 uh I think it was I think it was first Samuel or or second. It's the second book of Samuel, that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. But the first, like that first whole like read it. So it's given because David was talking and he like, who the fuck told you? <laughs> like that kind of energy. So that could be reassurance to somebody. If you know you are a chosen one, you're a divine being or whatever. Somebody come up against you, baby. They already promised it was written in the memories, the book. Okay. Remembrance. Hmm. Hmm. They're remembering something when they had bad, bad finances or something like that, whatever. Somebody promised. This is confirmation. Assured that somebody would be persecuted. That's why somebody could be trying to run now. This person's lacking sleep here. Like somebody was at peace when this couple... Had somebody under pressure here, feeling trapped when they was homeless. Now they're embarrassed. Because somebody's about to be persecuted. They promised, because somebody promised somebody was going to be persecuted if. And they would lose. Yeah, if somebody says bereavement and sorrow. That they will be sorry. Somebody can even promise somebody, yo, you gonna be sorry if you go through with this. Because what if something da 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 And somebody could be telling somebody like that did this to somebody. They're like, I promise ain't gonna nothing, nothing gonna happen. I promise. Because they about to do something to counteract it. I don't know. Yep. We got merit making. That's merit making. Now, if you wanna. Make some merit for the universe. Save a divine being's life. Okay. And it seems like your ancestors are, is the community web weavers here of something. And they're weaving a web here to incubate something. And we got homecoming or something is, or this is somebody, you know, if this is like that, and you do, is they're, they're making preparations for you. Okay, somebody that you know or close to or whatever. <sighs> Jesus, for the homecoming, heart home. Listen, so, look, take these messages as it resonates, y'all, all right? But somebody promised that somebody would be persecuted or suffering. Somebody could be having nightmares. They remember somebody promised. Oh my, that's why somebody look at that, Jesus. Look how it flipped them flipped up. Y'all seen the rewinded. That's why somebody like, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. You got me fucked up. They remembered the promise that they would be persecuted to the fullest. They would be their worst nightmare. That's why you ain't going nowhere. If any harm come to any of his divine beings. Oh, somebody tried to play God. See? And that's where somebody fucked up at. They like, fuck this. It's over. There will be no death in a situation. So a bond that somebody had on somebody that loved themselves, just to cause them stagnation, they feel awkward. Somebody is so mad at their family. I mean, to the point where maybe a family member or a family group, or it could be a group of people might not even be, or it could be somebody they got a family with. They not fucking with this person. They are so mad, yo. So somebody is about to move. Like, just can you imagine? I can't imagine this. I don't know who this is, but can you imagine? Like, because how I'm seeing it is like, yo, is you stupid or fucking dumb? Like, somebody is really like, yo... Do you know what you just did? It's like bringing a plague over. Somebody, that's why something could have been happening. Somebody could have been trying to figure out why the fuck something was happening in their life is because of what somebody they was with that's a narcissist that's trying to sabotage. You see this third 
third party interference here. It's like this narcissist person was trying to sabotage or be a narcissist to an air sign. Take it as it resonates. Somebody that was full of themselves. Try to get in between something. That's why somebody's changing resonance. Bruh. Maybe they moving because they did the ceremony in their house. Bruh. Somebody changed in residence because they did a ceremony and yo, somebody in their family or the person they got a family met with did a ceremony and they was wondering what the fuck was that? Can you imagine? That's why somebody's getting the kid out of there. They're taking the child with them. Like, no, I'm out. We out. You stay the fuck here. We going type of energy. <laughs> like, yo. But as predicted, right, you could have predicted this or you, if you're a reader, you could already predict something like this was going to happen or you just intuitively knew that something was like this was going to happen. Okay. We got the rites and ceremony. So, yo, that's wild. This magic that they did. They were so optimistic that they would not evade. They could evade the law as far as um, you know, they're getting real logical. Somebody did a ritual. To cause an illusion that it was logic and it wasn't. Like somebody, like, you know, yo, this is weird as fuck. Like, this is like somebody convincing somebody to buy me. It's like, look, if we just do it like this, we gonna get all of their, like, this is like, this is like the wool being pulled off of somebody to buy me asking their eyeballs after, like, they take a step back and really look at what. The karmic kind of their karmic partner, what they agreed with with the karmic partner, and they like, oh hell no. They did this ceremony. Somebody is moving because they did a ceremony just to cause them an illusion that this was logic, like the fuck up how they're like what's right and what's wrong kind of energy. Like somebody did something that could have had somebody like well maybe you're right like you know to protect our family that's what somebody could have used it oh to protect the kids or to th that's it thank you spirit because somebody did something and somebody said to them oh to protect the kids we got to take them out like you know what you're right whole time somebody was doing whoever this is that was trying to sabotage something they're the biggest narcissists in the world it could be a feminine, could be a masculine. Take it as it resonates. But their whole plan was just to take you out. But but you're a divine being or something divine, like my my collective. And they made it sound so good. Yeah, like this was a good idea. This is a gift or something. Somebody's getting logical now. Somebody's moving because they did this ceremony to cause an illusion that they this was justice playing out for them and it wasn't this or this is equal equality or something. This wasn't fair. Yeah. This was a fucking trap. They like bitch, would you stupid or what? Now they feel guilty. They like, oh my god, oh my god. So this is what happened. Like We've been talking about like how uh, the karmic had your divine masculine on tilt. Had this person thinking you was the worst person in the world. Had this person making plans against you. Had this person, all of this, right? And it's, I don't know what happened in between time. In the meantime, I don't know what. We did just have a crazy ass eclipse yesterday. 
And it's like they waking up. And I said in the beginning of the, uh, our reading on the um the other reading how people are like, what's hey, what happened? Like that groggy feeling that what happened? What was we doing? Just a couple, whatever, whatever. That's why something has been completely stopped, eclipsed out. So something that was e something is being eclipsed out. When I'm talking about from bad luck. Uh, 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 sickness, illness, um, disease, mental health problems, family problems, shit like that. For having like shit about to get real normal, like normalized in y'all life. Cause the the reign of terror of these succubus or incubus, whoever your person is attached to, is over. And they realize it now that they get logical. Like, bitch, you trapped me. Because they're realizing that they wasn't ever going to get nothing with them when it came to y'all inheritance. Something is bloodline worthy. Somebody not a part of their bloodline. That's just somebody they was with type of energy. That's like a maid. Uh... Sleeping with the Pharaoh. That doesn't make her family. You understand what I'm saying? Because in how it normally would go is one Pharaoh would be with the uh, the queen and this and that and the third because they all they all like, oh, that's my cousin, sister, brother, aunt, third, fifth cousin removed from the <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? This is that type of energy I'm picking up on. This is the sabotage. Someone was in the middle trying to sabotage this. This is somebody that was in their ego. That was self important. Like they put themselves in this position. Fourth house. This could be somebody someone was married to. That was a third will enemy. Damn. It's like sleeping with the enemy. And somebody cannot believe that this person been their enemy the whole time. Like you demonic bitch energy. Like. She's like surprise. Somebody could be 37. Now they're in danger. This third wheel enemy. Okay. Oh. Somebody in danger. Because it's like somebody figuring it out. Why somebody was arranging some sort of money collections or the collected money they know now. This is crazy. Like somebody was like, oh, well, fuck you and them. I'm going to just sacrifice both of y'all. How about that? So your masculine could have been going through something like health wise. Uh. Yeah, somebody got themselves in a whirlwind of trouble with somebody. That's a big narcissist. I never I mean, I know women can be narcissists, but oh my lord. Whoever she is, oh my lord. Okay. Now that somebody is coming out of their ego, because somebody was in the middle trying to sabotage this, this, this person, they seeing this person as their worst enemy. Oh, Jesus. We got accident. What's the accident, Lord? I cannot make this up. You was not supposed to get sick. You wasn't supposed to get weak. You wasn't supposed to be fragile. You wasn't supposed to have no illness. They're in danger now. God is about to, when I tell you, all right, now you can go heat on and get a little mad, you know, throw your little skibbity paps at each other and little cat fights. That's to be expected. But when you try to, you try to actually take a life of a divine being. <laughs> oh, no. And like I said in the beginning with David. And the guy said, he was saying it like, oh, he fell on this sword. Well, who else seen him fall on the sword? I mean, it was just me there. And he said, okay, so you telling me in my face that he fell on his bow. You telling me he fell on his sword. He did that. And you couldn't find nobody to help him pick, pick him up and carry him to go get help? No, you know, I just, you know, figured to just take them both out. I took his crown and look at this. He said he took his crown and his bracelets. Okay. He like, yeah, like it was okay. David looked at him like, 
Well, that's how I was reading the text, okay? In my mind, I could just see David Hancock like, is you fucking shitting me? Y'all hear what he's telling me right now? Like I'm not, I'm not like I'm not about to cut this nigga head clean off. So you telling me in my face. Maybe somebody told this person in their face. Like, yeah, I thought, you know, this would be a good idea to just might as well just put kill him. <laughs> right? And anybody that know, if you know, you know. Cause he killed them right on the spot. He after he said, repeat you y'all everybody, y'all heard what he said. Okay. Because and but before he did, he said, "Who gave you the authority to do anything to God's anointed?" And somebody know you, God's anointed. See, they know you innocent. They know you're full of love. They know you are a part of their lineage. They know this. They like, do you know what the fuck you just did? Did they know that this was already written? They was promised that if anybody come up against God's anointed, this is what's happening. They will be persecuted to the fullest extent. So there will be no harm that will come to you, divine beings. God heard about it. He got the word and he put his best men on it. They know that they're in danger. It's like somebody coming up off their high horse, see? Whew. They know they're in danger now for being your third, being a third wheel enemy and causing somebody weakness, even if they weakened you a little bit. They know this. It's like somebody know the text, they know the books, they know something. Somebody know you an earth angel, they know this. It's like, is you crazy or what? Their suffering will never end. They know this. God said, I promise you that your suffering will never end. Death is in the reverse, see? They're remembering something. It's like a memory. Something here. We got, uh, when they took this gamble, memory, uh, remembrance, okay, came up about a promise assurance that suffering and persecution will never come to an end if okay Jesus somebody done fucked up okay spirit what else a narcissist what about the narcissist yep they going on this journey whatever it is they withdrawn from whatever journey exploration adventure this narcissist is like, yeah, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> you, you, yeah, this was the worst risk they ever took. And they, why the fuck did they take this bribe? That's what they want to know. Because now they want to compromise. And as predicted, you will be having help, support, and care. Because somebody is learning a lesson. Yeah, somebody is hot, man. Like hot, hot, like spit flying hot. It's like that. That's what somebody at one is asking this person. Like, wow, it's like that. Like, is you fucking crazy? Like, somebody is caught side eyeing somebody right now. Yeah, they withdrawn from this adventure. We or whatever investment they had. Yeah, this was the worst. They separating themselves from an investment. What the fuck? They're invested in separating themselves from somebody now. Like if somebody getting a divorce, it's over. Okay. Because they are overloaded. They will not give any peace until, right, they calm the chaos or something. Somebody stress, worry, having anxiety, begging God, please, Lord, that help. They want to survive. Somebody is separating from somebody so that they survive. Some disaster. This was a disaster, I feel like, that they took this bribe. They're going to have to make a, a deal. Like, let's make a deal energy here. I don't know how deep this is going because somebody got proof and evidence that they're already being investigated for something, y'all. I don't know how deep this go. Whew. Who the air sign, Lord? 
Hmm, scared to even ask. Who the air sign? Jesus, I'm scared to turn the cards over, y'all. They're worried. They feel like a professional manipulated them. They assured them that they would, you would be, everything would be okay. An air sign is worried that a professional manipulated them. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is worried about somebody's talents to bring harmony or is somebody going to use their talents to bring harmony to something? Because something was so unfair to cause this type of quarrel or conflict to you. So an air sign is worried. What? What's going on, air sign? Why are you worried? Because you got they got proof of something and they're frightened or paranoid. Stress, worry, having anxiety. Why are they paranoid? Lacking sleep because they plan to collaborate and and wish that you persevere with prayer from your soulmate. Because there's some supernatural shit happening when it comes to somebody that made profit off of isolating you in the first place and try just to bind you or obstructs justice. So there's an air sign that is completely worried right now and is getting together with their prayer group or something or with somebody to praying to God that you make it through. They are so scared, yo, frightened, y'all, and stressing, lacking sleep, under pressure, having headaches because they planned this. Now they're planning because they got to make a plan now to collaborate. And they're planning to collaborate maybe with friends or people they worship with to pray and wish that you persevere. Through prayer from a soulmate, eternal love. So that's the twin flame energy that I was saying about. With love, love heals all. You know, people be right there on their deathbed. And just that love is what made them come back. Love is what, what grew, helped them grow stronger. It's that kind of energy. So somebody could be knowing that. Home is where the heart is. Nurturing somebody. You know, being there for somebody, that can make somebody get better. So somebody is praying and worried and they probably more worried than, the other, than, than whoever, than the person that this is happening to. Because, well, maybe because they was involved in this. Damn. And they paranoid and de depressed. Frightened, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is frightened that something is going to be very challenging here. Or who is paranoid? An air sign could have somebody worried because they got proof of something and somebody is paranoid. Or frightened that you're going to persevere. Or somebody is paranoid that somebody found a resolution to use their gifts, give a gift to a sweetheart by partnering up with someone, a sweetheart, connections, and merit making. Okay. And somebody mad as hell that somebody learned the lesson of greed. Because now somebody is desiring to be your ally because they feel guilty. Now the goal has changed. The purpose is to, I guess, get you, give you enough energy so you can heal yourself or something like that. By stopping you from having vision problems. 
So they lied to a professional that everything is okay. Because whatever they was, because they was creating, to, they created something to bribe someone to compromise. And as predicted, there will be support and help. Now that something has came to someone's attention, that you are going to achieve something. But they had a vision that someone could, whatever they created here, they could be surprised that somebody is unwilling now to partner up with someone that overindulged in doing something. Wow, because they want peace now. Because somebody could be in sorrow now. Because somebody calls conflict for somebody, yo. This is, what? So an air sign is worried that... What the fuck? They got proof of something. Somebody also want to know how did somebody get proof? Of something because there's some sort of depression or phobia that's happening right now or para they paranoid that somebody going to find a resolution or this is the person that they with. They are maybe afraid that an air sign is going to find a resolution for something and somebody's going to persevere. Take it as it resonates, child. If you, if you the air sign, all right, if you connect it to an air sign, take it as it resonates. That's wild. I'm going to get some of these. What the fuck, y'all? <laughs> We got the future. It allows you to shape it with your choices and actions. Materialism. So somebody feel like this was such a stupid bet for money. I don't know what kind of bet this If this was a bet, somebody did something on y'all. What in the world is this, y'all? I'll be here with some reads. Holy Spirit, the God. Oh, child. Happiness. Joy, happiness, and abundance, and gentle love. Genuine love, excuse me. Authority. Okay. So somebody thought that they would be happy to have authority over your life? And you would be compelled to listen to them. What? So they blinded you. Somebody was happy that you was blind to something. You overlooked something or they overlooked something. That's why maybe somebody is not happy no more. Yeah, they overlooked the fact that somebody was jealous of you. Huh. That's why somebody tried to restrict you in your life. So that's why something about, yup, that's why somebody's afraid now. Okay, because somebody could have tried to restrict y'all in y'all life. And like until the clock ran out and so that they can do bad stuff to you. At first, somebody was happy here that they had the authority. But due to your inner power, your inner strength, somebody can be very angry because this is a faded event for somebody to see something see the unseen and free themselves what somebody did not see and this is why they're not happy because it, it came out like this so somebody is not happy right because they didn't see something okay your tendency is to overlook when you avoid confronting an unsettling truth the unsettling truth was that somebody was jealous jealousy can cause pain for both persons okay one way or another. Somebody envied y'all. 
So they try to restrict you, feeling restricted, unable to pursue your true desires and facing challenges because of it. So somebody feels like the reason if they if they would have known by trying to restrict you, taking everything away from you, right? You know, break heartbreak and pain really causes this ease within the body. If y'all didn't know that, like that's how most like real like life threatening diseases begin, whether it's high blood pressure, whether it's uh cancerous, whether it's um heart attacks, all of that, right? Somebody did something to restrict you. They feel responsible for whatever's going on right now. Okay. Maybe somebody found out they got high blood pressure, blood pressure out the out the when you like, oh my God, like stress causes health problems, right? But somebody know they did something, overdid something, and they feel like just to weaken you. They, they was doing a ritual over and over and over and over and over. And now they are the victim of this ritual. That's karma. Whoever did it, they was doing it in the house. Okay, I don't know. It said the house. That's why somebody want to move now. And we got fear. Now they're afraid that somebody's going to find a treasure. Genuine happiness lies within yourself. Needing no external search that's somebody's fear fear stemming from the unknown remember you are you not to be troubled by illusions because restricting you could have caused some sort of fake illusion that they had authority over you or something like that if this is somebody y'all was in a relationship with could have been a horrible relationship with somebody okay now this person is seeing that you done found your authority within yourself and things is changing or is about to change on the outside of you. That's dope for the better. And if somebody was trying to stop you from being with somebody, that's coming to an end or something like that. Okay. Shit, now. We got the mask here, child. I'm rolling my eyes. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Oh, they said have at it as long as nobody get hurt. Did anybody get hurt? Yup. And now they created their own fate. They like, oh uh, my gosh. Oh my, I gosh, forgot. Okay. They feel like there is a, they did this. Somebody feels so guilty, y'all. I don't know what's happening. Oh no. Somebody really feels guilty about something. Yeah, nobody's not. Yeah. They have they don't even have passion to hop around the fire no more. <laughs> Genius in the reverse. All these reversals, y'all. Trickster in the reverse. Illness in the reverse. The wonders of the world, which is the whole situation somebody is looking at right now. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody looking at something in a hole, y'all. <sighs> cats in the reverse. What's the cats in the reverse? Curl up in the comfort in your own space. Wow. Okay. Now that somebody is obsession in the reverse, what? Okay, yeah, I'm like, I know I shuffled them. <laughs> well, you know, these cards are vice versa, so. Wow, obsession in the reverse. That's the overall energy for here for this. Whatever curse somebody did, no good came out of it at all. By the music of your design, this will be a triumph. By the music of your design, this will be a triumph. I'm telling you, you're going to be fine. If you were worried, this is God's message to you guys that you're going to be fine. Whatever that is, Jesus is going to fix it right now. That kind of energy. I, I That's the song, uh, build a fence all around me. God has built a fence around somebody, okay? As you travel along the way. I love that song. So go ahead and listen to that song. I think that's Donnie McClurkin, honey. Um, Yeah. And 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 it late in the midnight hours. God's gonna turn it around. That makes sense. 
all those songs, all it's gonna work in your favor. Whew. And I got chills and it's like wanna cry energy because you, whatever somebody tried to do to you, you don't deserve that. You're a sweetheart, you're a child of God. Like you are the light, honey. Okay. You're going to be moving forward happily here. You have good luck and fortune on your side. This main male may know that. That child might be you, darling. If this ain't a breakup in a relationship. And they taking their kids with them, honey. I don't know. But at the end of the day, curl up and be comfortable in your own space. You about to go, you about to be able to be real comfortable in your own space. In your own life, ain't nobody going to be stay stopping somebody from doing something. It says over, whoo, Jesus. So go ahead on and curl up in your own space. Uh, With the wonders of the world, it says overconfidence can bring tragic endings. This is horrible, man. I would, whatever is about to happen to somebody, I really wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Damn, this is bad. I'm telling you, trickster in the reverse. How is your own mindset firming the situation? Firming the situation? I think that's a typo. <sighs> How is your own mindset framing? That's framing, not firming, child. Framing the situation. So, wait. It says, I'm everything you ever, ever, fe ever feared. Overly confident. Overconfidence caused tragic endings. I'm everything you ever feared. And they're feeling like, how's their mindset framing the situation? How's they painting this picture now? Illness in the reverse. So, somebody could be rethinking now or child, let me just what's illness in the reverse oh heart coming homecoming illness in the reverse says is there an opportunity to help someone else which would be you somebody feels like it's an opportunity for somebody to help you you probably the kind of person that help everybody and somebody is saying, it's, it's like, is there an opportunity? God has, wow. Even in the midst of somebody's storm, do you see how God work? I love God so much, y'all. I swear to God, y'all look. How I'm seeing this with that right there, is there is there an opportunity for you to help somebody else? Even though somebody did this to you. Long as there's air in your breath, you always can be forgiven by God. Air in your lungs, excuse me. You always can be forgiven by God. He can turn it around. He's like, yeah, I did curse your lineage, but you can fix it if. Is there an opportunity for you to help somebody? But the risk is so great. Right? It's like that, you know how, like, right? Because somebody was already damned to hell, okay? I'm telling you, endless suffering, right? They was damned, doomed, their whole generation, right? Their whole lineage, right? And God came to them and said, is there an opportunity or presented somebody that might have needed somebody help? Is there an opportunity for you to help somebody? And you being a divine being, what? That's merit making. That's how you make merit, for real merit, that sticks with you. That you ain't got to do nothing else for. That's how you secure the fucking bag. Somebody is afraid that somebody found that out. What this whole thing was about. And it's funny because... The way I told the story, the way David had said that to them, because what if the boy thought he was doing something good and then got killed? Like, is you stupid or dumb? And what if so-and-so was a part of that person's lineage and it was their job this lifetime to save a anointed one? Hmm. 
that you are a part of their lineage. You could be a part of Saul's lineage. Okay? Child, look, I can't. I, I'm only here to get a message, baby, but I'm just trying to tell you what I'm, th what I'm hearing here. Maybe somebody <laughs> is very much so a part of some very deep roots, baby. Very, 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 very deep roots. And just so happened at this time and this planet on this hour, this day, God orchestrated. They orchestrated. Your ancestors orchestrated something so you could be at the right place at the right time. So that they lineage. They're like, you don't understand, y'all. This is how it works. This makes so much sense. And for anybody that is resonating with this type of energy, this is how you do it. So the whole time person, boom, in your life or whatever, and they, they, whatever, man, blah, 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 blah. Their whole intent was to hurt you, do this, today, the third. They got the powers of, to be too, right? They do whatever, whatever. Overconfidence led to a tragic ending the last time around. Remember, because he was confident and said to David, yeah, I killed him and his son. His whole lineage is going, look, I got the crown and the bracelet. Huh? Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that fucking something collective? Huh? Trickster in the reverse. That is crazy, y'all. I love this. And they like, now how is their own mindset? framing this situation and what they what they start thinking the trickster that was in the upright because you remember he's you know he was all about manipulation coming down off of this manipulation right they seeing like damn here's the opportunity that i've been needing to gain merit in the universe i can actually save a divine being so that they can continue their mission for god what you think God going to do? What you think God do for people like that? That save his own. Hmm. And just so happened, collective, maybe you was a test for somebody. To see which way they would go. Obviously, they chose the wrong path from the jump. Or somebody chose the wrong path from the jump because of somebody they was connected to. Is there an opportunity for you to help somebody else? Genius is in the reverse. Because <laughs> that was a dumbass idea. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, it says move fast and break things. Oh, baby. Yeah, somebody is. They got to hurry up. Somebody feel like they got to hurry the fuck up. If somebody got you in a jar, somebody had you in a doll, they had you doing something. Great, they got to break every chain, every spell they ever did over your life. You hear me? For however long, they don't give a fuck how they like take your fucking money. I don't care. Take it back. I don't care. And somebody like, what are you doing? It ain't about the money. It's about the grace of God. Let me tell you something. If you got the grace of God, baby, you're going to be rich forever. You understand? There's nothing on this realm you could ever want or any, any other. Baby. It's to get into the pearly gates. It's to get into paradise. This is the energy here. Somebody feel like, you know, the only way I'm going to get into paradise is if I save this divine being. I don't know who you are, baby. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if it's you're going through homelessness. I don't know if you're going through uh, some sort of poverty, illness, whatever this is. God, they about to be fighting over to save your ass. You hear me? It's like change of plan. They they moving fast and breaking shit. Okay? It said cat died. Details later. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, we we not, we don't have no time to waste. Somebody feel like they gotta hurry up. They gotta hurry up. I don't know what about what's going on here, but somebody really feel like it's urgent. It's fucking urgent. I don't know what this is, but somebody feel like it's so urgent now. We gotta do it now. Fire in the reverse. Jesus. Who is this? It's so much energy in this reading, y'all. Fire in the reverse. Dig in. Defend your... Wow. Dig in and defend your castle from its stormy keeps. 
somebody is about to do what they got to do, your ancestors, whether this is a person they enact in this act through, okay? Or this is somebody that's just genuinely about to just turn it around for you, okay? For the positive. You done been isolated. You done been beaten, bruised, and hurt, torn down, whatever. But God is about to turn it around. Confirm that collective. Okay? Declare that collective. Yeah, because somebody in a raw energy. Okay? Yeah. Digging and defending your stormy, your, your castle from its stormy keep. That's crazy. Celebration in the reverse. So ain't nobody celebrating no more? Yep. Wow. Because somebody felt like they didn't get shit out of this. Nothing was gained from this. I told you, whatever curse somebody did, that was just dumb. They should never did that in the first place. Because nothing was gained, gained from this. This was not a venture. Nothing, not, nothing ventured and nothing gained. Woo, Jesus. So now it even go back to that. That what I'm gonna keep. I don't know why I'm referencing that for y'all, but I'm gonna, you know, because everybody don't, you know. But I like to educate myself on a very large scale, okay? So, but if you if you do like own or even ever read the Bible or any of that, just for your own personal, okay? Like. It's funny because, like I said, when he came to David and said that to him, he was so sure of himself. And then I'm seeing this. It says, nothing ventured and nothing gained. And at the top of it, it says, they're just trying to trick me again. I know. That even goes even further into everything I'm saying. So what if this person... Was the person they come from the lineage of, that actually slayed one of God's own, right? One of his anointed, he had the crown instead of getting him help, he killed him when well, he simply could have put his ass in a wagon, dragged his ass to wherever. David was, because that's where he came. All dusty and tors, uh, uh, clothes torn. He could have he could have brought him with him. You understand what I'm saying? But what if somebody was there like, yo, you should just kill him now. Like, yeah, you're going to look like a hero if you just kill him. And then that's why he was so confident to talk like, yeah, David, I, I, I took care of that. Yeah, it was me. Look, look, I got his stuff right here. You understand what I'm saying? This realize what I'm like, what the fuck? What did he just say? Yeah, he did what he had said. He said he did. He did. He killed him. Yeah, he cut his head off. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. David said, oh, okay. So, from his mouth to God's ears, to David's ears, and everybody else that was around, he had every right to kill that man. This lifetime, here we are again. Like they just said, I'm afraid they trying to trick me again. I knew they tried to trick me again. What that car had said. <laughs> Same people, different timeline, and erd thing. Somebody was his mama. Somebody was his child. Somebody was his wife. Somebody was his uh, his 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 father. The reason, and do you see how it all started? It all started because. His father left him. So he didn't want to do that for that one. And stayed somewhere somebody wasn't supposed to be. And got tricked. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I ain't trying to preach to y'all, but look. They're just trying to trick me again. I knew it. Because he got tricked before. Okay? And it was written. He got tricked before. Tell 
Somebody move in there. Because they found out this person tr did all these rituals just to trick them. They to think that they were doing something right. Like they wouldn't get karma. Whoever this is, y'all. Whoever this resonates for. This is what somebody did. Whether this was a family member of yours or theirs. They tricked this person. Again, this lifetime. However many moons later. Right? Same time, same people, same energy. Ancestors of. Right? But not this lifetime. Because see, somebody about to turn it around. See? They're like, oh, hell no. Not not, not, not this lifetime. Who they trick, Lord? Who they trick? I got it. Who the fuck they trick this lifetime? To hurt a divine being. Who did they trick? First of all, who tricked them? Let's get who tricked them to hurt the divine being first. Who put them up to this? Who put them up to hurting the divine being in the first place? It was a Virgo. Aquarius. A Aries. A Cancer. A Taurus. And a Sagittarius. We got the ninth house. Nine fucking nine, 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 bro. Yeah, this is definitely some religious shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, we here now, huh? Nine, 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 y'all. Stop playing with me. Don't play with it. Don't fucking play with it. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. And we all know the ninth house got everything to do with religion. One's belief system. Higher learning. So they all knew what they was doing. Fourth house. They was born into somebody family, they said. Fourth house. Or they got a family with somebody. Second house. Everything in this family that this person own claim does not belong to them because they're thieves. See? Sixth house. But what they did on a routine, right? For their employment to steal inheritance. That's what they do. They steal people's inheritance. Because they own nothing. They have no divinity collective. So that's who tricked them. Who did they trick to do this to y'all? Who did they trick to do this to y'all? Who they bribed and tricked to do this to you was a cancer, a Aries. They could have this sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Aquarius. Somebody, yeah, second and second and third house could be significant for these people, their signs. A Scorpio, somebody could be sun as well, but no. Scorpio, we got double Scorpio and Sag. They tricked the Sagittarius, a Cancer, a Aries, Aquarius, two, uh, the Scorpio, maybe two Scorpios. These could be people that are part of their friends group. Oh, excuse me, 11th house. How one perceives knowledge and someone's generosity. They were very generous to these people. Promising them ranking in society if they achieve this spiritual act, ninth house. That they would own, claim, and have your possessions. 
if you didn't make it. Eighth house. With the death energy. Transformation. Rebirth. Somebody's idea was that they would get ranking in society and everything that they claim they own, their own possessions and money and all of this cool shit. Spiritual ranking is what these people thought they would get. Well, who are you? Who is the divine being that they did this to? Who is the anointed one that they did this to? You could have went through some health issues. Real bad ones. Or you could be going through them now, y'all. Who is the divine being that they did this to? The divine beings that they did this to, since this one rolled over here first, was a cancer. A divine being, earth angel, Gemini. Divine being, earth angel, Scorpio. Divine being, earth angel, Libra. Divine being, earth angel, Sagittarius. Divine being, earth angel, Virgo. This could be y'all first house energy. This could be y'all sun sign. See, your sun sign could be a Gemini. A Cancer, a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Libra, and a Sag. Or the divine beings. Damn spirit. This is how I just heard it all, but hear me out. Somebody sun, moon, rising, Venus could be Cancer, Gemini, Virgo. Somebody sun, moon, rising, Venus could be Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. You are the chosen ones. But they was planning on two deaths. Two transformations with these divine beings. So you could have these somewhere in your, I don't know, that is fucking stupid bananas with how I'm seeing this right now. You could be born in 88, 86, 82, 85. Okay. Or this is your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take it as however these, these resonate for you. Or this is, like I said, individuals. Because it's the first house here. How one perceives you to be. You change. Eighth house. Going through transformations and rebirths. Second house, everything that you own, claim you fully in your light purpose. Sixth house in your second house is full in alignment. But there was no celebrations. Fifth house in the reverse. What's, you don't have no leisure time. Maybe you, these people wanted y'all to work yourself to death type of energy as well. Make you feel like there was no way out of something. This is crazy. Maybe y'all supposed to work together and bring about a big transformation with somebody. One of these people could be divine feminine. One of these people could be divine masculine. Take it as it resonates. Wow. I'm so sorry, divine being. That resonates with this story here. But this is what they didn't see coming. That death will come for those people that do something like that. Okay, spirit. We got a Gemini. It's all in their head and their feelings about a Latin man or a woman. They are also stressed out to the max with a karmic male that's a Taurus because it was his wife or girlfriend that was paying for the spell work on you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like, is you IQ? Is you stupid or dumb? That's what somebody like, what the fuck was you thinking? IQ. <laughs> M. You mean everything to them. The universe, that's why you got a divine bodyguard. Whew. This is 
crazy. Wow, if you're reading this, it's too late. God is blocking all negative energy projections. God is, oh God. They must have went already went through it. Like I said, so if you are any type of illness, sickness, or something like that, these people already went through with it. If you went through any illnesses, sickness, or any of that, these people, they done fucked up. Are you reading this? It's too late. Thursday is happening. Something happening in the wintertime for y'all. We got Sunday. They tried to hack your devices. A neighbor that has an unhealthy obsession with you on Monday. You are 100% heterosexual. They know that, eh? What the hell they got to do with anything? And she is big mad. Okay, why? ACD? Okay. Maybe she's big mad at C or D. Why? Why? Because they're a part of an organization, secret society, or a coven that is not of the light. So, of course, he would try to get somebody to kill the divine beings. The real ones. I bet you right now, the other ones that's be so, you know, pretending to be so spiritual ain't got shit going on. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you they ain't got shit going on. They was going, they've been having a smooth selling uh transformation if they if, if whatever they want to call it because I bet you they they not even tapped in mm. but you an earth angel see what I'm saying these people wasn't of the light and you this earth angel this coven this group that's not of the light they all knew you who the earth angels were they used a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius you could be a Sagittarius they knew that y'all was an earth angel so that's why them evil eyes, they went blind on somebody's niece or nephew. God is blocking all negative energy. They want to be with you so bad. Mm. Damn, to death? Like, you to death do you part energy? What the fuck is happening here? Thank you, Father. What I told y'all hey, 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 happened. Somebody tried to do something to y'all that was supposed to lead you, was the one lead this round. It's divine intervention to these narcissists. God about to show them something. Mm-hmm. They was riding past your house in the daytime or at night. This person can have a Charger, Hellcat, Cadillac, BMW, or a Subaru. Somebody could have been a CNA doctor or a nurse or anything to do with the home health aid energy or anything to do with health care. She's just mad. Okay, so she's mad that he's walking away from her and she wanted revenge. They about to ghost you. Because somebody getting fired or put out. Because love always wins. Or somebody is still in love with you. The feds is watching somebody. Somebody beauty spells isn't working. Somebody wants you to unblock them, L. They like you because you're not easy around the full moon. Ten years ago. WAP energy. Somebody could be very low vibrational. That's Saudi as fuck. Because they know that you're not going to help them grow spiritually now. Because your life has been spared. An Aries. Somebody feel like you're not going to help them grow now spiritually because your life has been spared, y'all. Whatever the divine beings is, you don't even know this person. Oh, on Friday. They want to bring a spend a night bag, a Muslim man or a woman. They was low key jealous of you because they see you going through a body transformation, getting fit. And they didn't want you to have unfinished business in love with a fire sign, but you do. Oh, baby. So somebody really going through some raw energy, like breaking shit. They know they messed up bad. Bad. This is a bad, 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 bad. 
Because them hexes and curses is going to backfire on them. Now that the mind games backfire. Like I said, somebody waking up realizing like, yo, that don't even make sense to take them out to do what? Why we got to do that? To, if we can just, you know, that's some strange shit. But somebody had somebody under some sort of weird ass energy. And that shit backfire in times 10 along with the curses and hexes that they did over your life. In the fall. God definitely is about to perform a miracle. <laughs> okay. We got a, a, it's about to be a fall of a crooked landlord too. F. Somebody got dreads or braids in the reverse. Some woman. They want to talk to you about everything now because they're scared. Because no root chakra magic is working at all. E. On Tuesday. A cancer. Something happened five years ago. They was planning to rob you. Now somebody know that you made the right shit. You're doing a great job. Somebody not afraid that you're going to reject them now. Because ain't nobody about to rob you. Okay? They backing out of this shit. They like, no, I'm cool. And I feel like the only reason why something is happening to them or something is going on is because some supernatural shit is happening and they know where it's stemming from. A cousin know where this is stemming from. They like, yo, we got the... No. Okay, there's some crazy shit going on here. I'm out. Mm hmm. We got P. A soulmate is coming in. In the summertime, they asked their friend to watch you and he fell in love with you. Balance and harmony about to be restored in every area of your life. Your children love you very much. Yes, they do. Better know that. Wow. They got to make it right to you this lifetime. Somebody got a black, red, orange, blue, or purple car. Unfinished business in love with a water sign. They not trying to catfish you a year ago. It wasn't them. Okay, something like that. I don't know. Y'all don't know what that means. They tried to tape a phone conversation with somebody, Jay. Or they, they taped a phone conversation with Jay a year ago. I feel like they could expose somebody, brother. They only wanted money or something like that. Take it as it resonates. Yeah. So this woman practitioner is done toppled over, honey. We got new love, true love. Somebody was not single. They know you know what they did to you, even when it came to your kids, DHS, CPS, or anything to do with child protective services. They could have hired a woman practitioner to block your path back then. These people are so scared because of the shit that's happening to them behind the scenes. I'm talking about real scared. Okay? Because they know who you are now. Okay? Whew. Yeah, y'all. Opening your heart to new love. Mm -hmm. They scared because they know you connected to the all that is and all that will ever be. And love always wins. Yes, they do. And your destiny is safe. Because Zaddy home, let them know. Heart home. Heart homecoming type of energy. So I don't know who coming home. But if whoever this is and this resonates for you, is uh, true love is here. Okay. Um, it's coming towards you. And whatever ailments that you may have experienced, whether it's emotional or physical, is being healed right now. Claim it in the name of our Father. Okay. Who strengthens us. God is strengthening all of us at this time collective. I hope this reading helps you. And gave you a little hope. 